Plants families, their wealth is tied to their homes. They see their home values decline, they see their wealth being disrupted. As they see their wealth being disrupted, they don't want to go out and buy an automobile, they don't want to buy furniture, they hold back, they retrench. But if the home values rise, people feel comfortable that their wealth is rising, their retirement uh, situation will be much better, so they begin to open up their spending, go to a restaurant more frequently, uh, buy that furniture. So he's a big believer that housing equity has a big impact on the economy indirectly in terms of the consumer mindset, how they feel about their wealth. Most middle class uh, families have wealth tied to their housing. So uh, if we go as simple, uh, so Adam Greenspan in a recent interview, I think it was Meet the Press at one of those shows, indicated that uh, he would like to see a 10% price increase. Once you see a 10% price increase, all the good stuff in the economy will be Based on my uh, analysis of the 10% price increase, which is the very last row, is that if we have a 10% increase first, it automatically reduces the number of underwater homeowners. So that's very positive. But also, when I look at the uh, current price trend, it looks like we probably will get maybe 4% price increase by the end of the year, maybe 5% by the end of next year. So in essence, over the next two years, or maybe it will take three years to get that 10% price increase. What does that mean? That means that whoever is the president of the United States in the year 2014, he is the lucky guy. The economy will be booming and expanding at that point because the prices have already recovered 10%, uh, and that will be the uh, greatest uh, the, the positive influence to the economy. Uh, another statistic that I want you to be uh, very mindful of, and I think this is something that you need to uh, show to you any of your potential clients who say the otherwise. I don't know why, CNN, and when they get some new housing statistics, not from us, uh, from another, uh, they put it on their CNN headline and, and their scroll uh, continuously. One third of homeowners in America are on the water. Um, maybe some of you heard that as well. One third of homeowners in America are on the water. Uh, I mention CNN not because I watch, because I travel, and, and for whatever reason, in the airport, they only show CNN. Uh, so, so, uh, so when I see that, uh, I immediately call my staff to call the CNN to correct that, to say that it's not one third of the uh, homeowners who are on the water. It's actually 15%. So why is CNN reporting it wrong? I mean, they acknowledge, they say, oh, thank you very much, but they don't change it, I don't know. <laughs> so, what is uh, one third of home homeowners being underwater? Well, the statistic says one third of mortgage holders are underwater. So, from Wall Street point of view, when well, you have mortgages and you want to see greater return, that matters. But for neighborhood, for consumers, you see 100 homes and you say, how many are underwater? You have to count those homes that doesn't have mortgages. And, and, and there are many, many homes that is owned free and clear, and that should be part of the dynamics in terms of homes. So if you add in the number of people who uh, don't have any mortgages because they have already paid off, uh, then it's actually 15% of the homeowners. Now, of course, each of the local market will vary, uh, but nationwide, it's not one third, it's only 15% of the uh, families across the country are underwater at the moment. And if uh, there's a price increase, uh, that figure will decline and decline and decline, which is another reason why we need to have that price increase. 